Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Boolean variables in Figma. Before we start, hurry up and check out the yourself purchase under this video. So let's get started. Now in this case, you might be wondering how do you start using variables? We'll first need to discuss what are variables and what are their uses. So variables is a group for you to store data, which in this case that includes color, text, or even Boolean values. Now, variables are actually pretty cool because you'll be able to uh, do a few things here, like setting the status or the current view of a specific component in your uh, project here. Now, in this case, how do you exactly use it? Well, first things first is you need to create your own variable first. So I recommend you to create your own project here. I want to select on the empty spaces that you see on your project here. So just click on the empty space here and you're good. Now at the right side, you want to go to design and look for variable or local variables here. Click on the filter or edit option here. I want to click on create variable. Now again, you can choose from the following. We have color, number, string, and Boolean. But since we want to test out Boolean, let's go and click on Boolean here. Now, in this case, we want to actually change the name for this Boolean here. So maybe, for example, I'm going to name this as pop-up. Now, by default, I want to set the value as true because we want to actually apply this variable here into the pop-up that we see here or the component that we have here. Now, in this case, uh, how do we exactly apply this one? So since we set this to true, by default, the value or the visibility value of this component is set to true meaning it is visible since we uh by true means it's actually uh visible and false is actually uh false which in this case is not visible in our case now what we need to do next is we need to select our component here and we want to go to the right side here and we want to go to layer at the right side now you should see an eye icon on your layer so double uh double click on it so left and right click at the same time and you should see the search option here then choose your uh, variable here now as you can see we now have the pop-up value now in this case what we need to do next is we need to go back into prototypes and from here what we need to do is we need to add an interaction but in this case you need to actually click on the x button here so make sure you choose that and what you need to do is you need to click on the plus interaction here and you want to choose on click and you want to choose the following option, which is going to be set variable. But in order for you to use uh, variables here, or in this case, maximize var uh, variables, you need to use the professional plan here, which in this case, the free plan that Figma offers is just a starter plan here. But then again, you need to use the professional uh, value here. But in this case, you just need to uh, basically, once you've got your professional uh, uh, plan here, you can go ahead and just set the value of the pop-up, uh, or in this case, the pop-up variable that we have to false whenever it's actually on click. And whenever the X button is actually clicked, that will actually hide the whole component and that would actually uh, change a few things on your uh, project here. So those are, or that is one of the use of a variable here on Figma. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.